Here's some Ret Pally PvP for your enjoyment. We're aiming for entertainment here, so don't expect some Gladiator BlizzCon nerd level play. I have one key binding, and spam click all of my other abilities. I also jump around like a moron for some reason, which I truly find annoying when I watch back these videos. Before hopping into a battleground, check out this world PvP. A warrior and mage try to jump me while out questing, and it's just amazing how much survivability the Ret Paladin class has. I use Justicar's Vengeance over Final Verdict for the extra healing. I have 2% Leech, the Undulating Spore Cloak, and two instant heals. Flash of Light and Word of Glory. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can also feel free to flame me for all the various mistakes I make. I've played WoW since its release, ah! and likely peaked in Classic before Classic was Classic. What's your take on dudes that roll female characters? Let me know in the comments. I used to think it was strange, but after giving it a try, I found that I'd much rather look at a hot blood elf chick than some dude. They finally gave up, so let's hop into some Battleground Blitz. BGs can get pretty boring, so to entertain myself, I like to look through the enemy names and pick out people with stupid names to target first. On the menu today, we've got Beefy Bone, Belmont, Ballsack, Grimshot, Jamondo Cac, Sorceressa, Uncle Pete, Valstar, Xena, and Yolo MC Wagon. With a name like Jamondo Cac, they definitely have to be my first target, but looking forward to killing Beefy Bone and Ball Sack as well. It didn't take long for me to make my first mistake. I forgot to enable Retribution Aura early enough, which takes 30 seconds after enabling to start working. Oh well, likely just the first of many to come. Prepare to die, Jamondo Cack. All right, well that was a fail. I probably should have helped our priest out as well. I'm just piling up the fails at this point. Don't worry, Cack Boy is going to die eventually. Mark my word. Why the hell are these res timers so damn long? This is definitely feeling like another fail. I need to get closer. Oh wait, there's Cack Boy. Oh well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to check him off my kill list this time either. Why does it feel like everyone keeps targeting me? Let's give my priest healer some love. 
which is probably the first thing I've done right this whole BG. I'm dying to jump in there and die again, but I better make sure someone doesn't snag this cart. I'm definitely not digging the recent change making some of my healing abilities consume mana. I better mana up! While he was pretty low on my hit list, it's time for Grimshot to meet his maker. All right, that's enough sucking. It's time to unleash the wave of death. Nice. It looks like everyone I was looking forward to killing is here. Ice block without the healing talent? Perfect. Don't worry, ball sack. I'll be right back for you. Let's drop Cack Boy real quick so we can finish giving Beefy Bone a beat down. Better drop Valstar first before they drain my soul. I'm out of range. Oh well. Someone else finished off Beefy Bone. At least he died. He should have never picked that name. Ooh! Squirrel! Better not give in to my natural instinct to abandon all objectives to chase down a furry animal. I need to get up to the top cart before it caps. Oh, it's Grimshot again. Lucky him. What the heck? I want to kill this guy. What kind of name is Suppenig? Since I can't kill him, I guess I'll heal him. For some reason, Grimshot couldn't wait to get back up here for another beatdown. Looks like the entire enemy team is upset over Grimshot's multiple deaths. This may not go well. The priest did a great job keeping us up for as long as they did. I probably should have helped them out with a bubble. Like I said at the beginning, I'm no role model, kids. This feels like another mistake that I'm about to make. But what the heck? I'm an indestructible paladin. I should be able to kill over half of their team during my bubble window.
Oh well, I'll get them next time. Jesus Christ, my timing couldn't have been any worse. A 27 second res timer. That gives me some time to see how we're doing. 11 million damage and 6.7 million healing. Not bad, but I need to pick it up. Where the hell is my team? It's just a sea of alliance everywhere I turn. Since we've already locked up the win, let's go barge into this group of casters to see what sort of damage we can do. I probably would have killed one of them had I not run into targeting issues there at the beginning. Saved by the bell. Nice. Promoted to Battleground Blitz Apprentice, which seems about right, given my semi-lackluster performance. Final tally? 12 mil damage and just over 7 mil healing. Not bad, but not great either. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out, and you won't miss the next video, which I guarantee will be even better.